Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian uh, from Mindful Marketplace. This is the final video we're going to do today. Uh, it's November 8th. And essentially, we're going to really quickly cover a final uh, workbook on what I think are the 17, uh, you know, sort of simple truths about using card to build your brand, to build your business, and to build your bank account as a web designer, as an online a consultant, as a marketing coach, as a digital media brand, uh, or a marketing studio. And I captured all these in a workbook that's available in our course community. If you're in our course community, it's here. It's at the very, very end. I'm going to add it in a minute. Um, for everybody else, if you're watching this on YouTube, where I'll post this as well, this is just a simple overview of, I think, the most important takeaways if you're considering using CARD to build your home-based marketing business. So, or, you know, you could have an office somewhere too. It doesn't matter. But nonetheless, you know, I, I do a lot of recordings on CARD simply because I like it. It's good for me for, with my uh, design chops, which I don't have many of. So I'm not a coder or a really naturally gifted designer, but I can really quickly, you know, create these great looking websites using card and templates and all that sort of stuff that people really seem to like. Uh, for my purposes, I use it majoritively for uh, my own products, my own courses, landing pages, testing different offers in the world for either myself or partners or clients. But it's not, you know, it, there, it's not this, um, you know, kind of amazing end all be all only option for those of you who are selling services, right? It doesn't have I mean, I would argue it does have superpowers, but it doesn't have superpowers that are so much different than everything else that's similar out there in the world that you only can use card or nothing. I mean, that's just not true. And I think the you know reason I focus on it so much is because I think it's really good for my particular skill set, my projects, my platform, and most importantly, my community. So, you know, folks who are generally in my entrepreneurial orbit or like me, they're marketers, writers, teachers, communicators, not designers. Um, so I think it's a really good, um, you know, choice for us. All right. The the most salient uh, attribute that card has to my eye is speed. You can build, you know, viable websites, products, landing pages for your clients, literally from scratch in under 20 minutes. I've done so many videos where I've demonstrated this, including one just an hour or two ago. So you can see that, you know, on our YouTube channel or on my personal YouTube channel. Um, you know, the speed element is so important because you can do four or five of these an hour, even if you wanted. And even if you're selling them for $50 for a year to a client, that's still a couple hundred dollars an hour, potentially, if you have enough clients. All right. Number two is scale. You can scale up your business very, very easily using card in a way that you can't do with some of these other solutions. So every single WordPress site that I add, for an example, to our WordPress, uh, you know, managed hosting account has a has a cost to me, right? There's a there's a uh, there, there's a, a price that I'm paying for that. And with card, there's really not. You can buy 500 sites, and if you're selling them for $50 or $100 or $500, they're only costing you a couple dollars per installation or per, per instance. So you can really, really scale up your business very quickly on a bootstrap budget without having to make an upfront investment of a significant amount of money. And you can always just buy more sites too. If you need another hundred, that means that business is good, right? And if you're spending another $70 on a hundred sites and you're selling those hundred sites for a hundred dollars each, that's $10,000 in you know profit for a $70 investment. All right. And simplicity, um, you know, obviously, the simplicity of card is something I focused on a lot in the past. It's very easy to make edits. Again, you know, you're just editing and, you know, and, and changing anything that you want on the fly very, very quickly. And, you know, it, there's really no other 
platform that makes this easier in my view than cards. That's a really strong selling point for me. I covered this already uh, in a different angle above, but price per site is very low. In other words, the instance that you're paying for the card is like a couple dollars uh, relative to the value that you're selling. Even if you're selling a website that's 50 bucks, that's ridiculously, insultingly low of a price, right, for a professional, but you're still 10xing, 20xing, 30xing your investment. All right, the integrations are awesome. There's a lot of back end offer opportunities by dint of the integrations. For an example, if you're you know building a newsletter like this, or if you're building a site that has a um, you know a a newsletter. Let me pull this up really quickly so I can show you like something like this one here, right? I mean, you can give this away or sell this for almost nothing, but sell a high-end newsletter service to your clients and just give them a good landing page as part of the offer, right? Just sell the landing page for 50 bucks, but then sell a $500 a month newsletter marketing service. All right, let's go back. There's, I mean, I've covered testimonials. This is a just a great way of building an entire business around card and a separate service in this case the testimonial um you know software which allows you to build these great looking landing pages for your clients that feature all the nice things people in the world are saying about their product their restaurant their law firm their you know aesthetic or you know cosmetic surgery their lawn care it doesn't matter right there's so many different ways of doing this gumroad products you can go out and just find a shit ton of gumroad uh you know product sellers and just offer them uh you know card landing pages for their products it will they will convert better right it, here's another truth. It's not ideal for blogging. I've had a couple of people uh, who were interested in signing up for our course, which you can see here. Um, I keep on coming back to that record screen, which I shouldn't, but it's not good for that, right? So if you're looking at building a selling blog based services to clients, don't use card. It's not a good solution for that. Instead, it's good for it's ideal for selling Linktree, link in bio, bio.fm, about me style landing pages. I covered that in another video today. Very, very easy to do. And, you know, speed, simplicity, you know, you can't find a better solution in my view than card for those sorts of pages for, or websites for a design agency or a development studio. It's great for MVP style product launches, testing for traction, testing for interest, seeing if people are actually going to buy the thing that you want to sell. It's really great for that sort of uh, offer. And I do a lot of this myself. I mean, minimum viable product launches where I'm testing a course or I'm testing uh, a new product or a book or something, an ebook or whatever, you know, card makes it very, very easy to create these very, very quickly, especially when you have templates, right? So as you can see here, let me move up. If you go here are 18 templates that I have. Let's say here's a, a book template, a newsletter template. Here's another newsletter template, an agency template, a, a link in bio template, another link in bio template. I mean, all these are really, really easy to templatize. And, um, you know, it just makes it really great to create a single template and then test a different offer uh, and that you don't have to redesign the landing pages. All right. So another uh, sort of demerit is, or another kind of a negative it, it, for some folks is there aren't a ton of great theme shops or design stores like with WordPress, you know, you have just a, you know, a ton of different themes. I mean, like, you know, thousands and thousands of themes and designs to choose from. You know, card doesn't really have that. I have a bunch. I've made a bunch. I've uh, had a couple made for us. I've bought a bunch. I mean, when I say I've made a bunch, I've made edits to previous designs that I've customized to be our own, but I'm certainly not a designer. You, don't, you really don't need a phenomenal uh, assortment of different card 
uh, designs to do really, really well with card. I mean, you can create great looking landing pages for your clients, great looking landing pages for your MVP offers, for your books, for your products, for your courses. But if you're really looking, if you're really used to WordPress or something like that, uh, there's not anywhere near the amount of themes or designs in the public sphere that you can purchase. All right. Uh, don't get caught, caught up on card when selling sites. Again, I had someone in, uh, you know, my one of my course uh, communities, actually someone that I'm working with directly, but who is really, really overselling card as a phrase to his clients, right? Like, you know, he kept on like talking about card, card, card. And people don't care about card. They don't know. I mean, you know, like they're not designers. They're real estate agents. They're financial advisors. They're accountants. You can't like just continue to like, you know, talk about card. It's simply a piece of software that you're using that doesn't even have to come up in conversation unless you want it to. You can certainly can describe in the right set of circumstances why it's preferable over what they're using or why it's advantageous. But people generally just want something that looks great for a great price that's easy to edit if they need to. And, you know, something like card is ideal for that, obviously. And again, you know, it's not the um, only tool out there for the job. There are uh, other you know, um, there's Framer, there's Webflow, there's Type Dream. There are many, many uh, different platforms out there now to choose from from the standpoint of design. Card is just really, really easy to use. And it's easy to use for great looking websites that are one page focused, that are beautifully uh, designed, but that aren't overly sophisticated. I mean, I can also see where people who are, you know, much more adept designers than I am would not, or maybe than you are, you would kind of want to use a more sophisticated tool like Webflow or uh, something like Framer, even with some of Framer's advanced options or WordPress or even coding their own thing. I mean, you know, there's tons and tons and tons of different software uh, design platforms out there now that you can use to build great looking websites. Card's not the only one. So I don't want to like over, you know, kind of focus on just card for those of you who are more uh, design sophisticated than I am. All right. And as I mentioned here, there's Type Dream, there's Framer, there's lots of other options. There's Squarespace, there's Ghost, there's WordPress. You know, there are one page WordPress sites. I've been using actually a one page, like kind of link in bio style WordPress uh, theme that I bought that's really, really attractive to me. It's a lot more work than card, but it you know has some WooCommerce integrations, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that makes it, you know, for some products or some uh, pitches, a better uh, or a more fun alternative for me. All right, if you're selling services with card, start with a very specific niche. This is really important. You don't wanna just make it like completely, like everybody is not your audience. Pick a specific niche and just start there. Financial advisors, you know, florists, car detailers, carpenters. I mean, these are not the ideal niches. I mean, financial advisors, you know, life coaches, uh, you know, CPAs, you know, people who own uh, restaurants, uh, local business owners, etc. You know, who could people who don't have an existing website is a, a perfect niche for card. And the way you find them is go on social media, pick your niche, and then go out and reach out to those folks and solve a real problem that they really have and they understand. Like for an example, they don't have a website or they have a Instagram profile that's not optimized for uh, or an Instagram. A, a link on their Instagram profile that's not optimized for conversion. So if they're sending folks to their, you know, main website and that's not really converting for them, a card link and bio link tree style page will convert much, much better. You know, if they don't have any landing page or it's a bad landing page or a page, like I said here, that doesn't have all the information easily accessible to their audience, right? Which is why something like a link tree style page is so appealing and forgetting about card, it's just appealing to everybody in the world. That's why there are so many services now that do this, bio.fm, about me, Linktree, link in bio. And there's just a shit ton of these services coming up 
all the time because it's a it's a model that works. It's been proven that you know by dint of uh, you know the, the the hundreds of thousands of people who use those sort of curated pages that show all their links, everything they're doing in the world in one kind of concise, compact uh, container. That kind of landing page is far better than just sending somebody to like a WordPress homepage or whatever, where you know people are just kind of you know they look for a second and they bounce away. All right. And then, you know, don't be afraid to give it away. I try to tell people this all the time. I mean, you can do something in 10 minutes and then use that to sell a big back end offer, something like newsletter uh, marketing, content curation, um, you know, it, it, uh, testimonials is just a fantastic opportunity. I've covered this in some other videos. If you're interested, check the, out the videos that I have uh, marked on uh uh, YouTube because they're free on YouTube. Um, just testimonials you can integrate with a script with a line of code, and you can build these great looking landing pages that curate all all of the nice things people are saying about uh, the business. This is your client, obviously the business, and people are really really happy with that sort of of you know solution. And this is the last thing. I mean, this is really important email outreach or social media outreach is everything. If you have a really thin skin, if you're really easily offended or upset, selling services using email outreach or social media outreach ain't going to make you happy. And the reason it's not because rejection is more common than, you know, getting people to say yes or people saying yes. I mean, if you're closing 20% of your outreach, you are like a you know, world-class, uh, you know, persuader, right? If you're closing 10% or you're converting 10%, you're good and, you know, and doing well, and you're going to be making a lot of money. But that still means that 90% of people aren't interested. 80% of people, you know, in the 20% example are not interested. Some of those people who are not interested will say things that you don't like. Like I've had plenty of people saying, you know, insulting things like they're, you know, they'll just tell you to disappear, go away, that you're annoying or whatever. And, you know, if that offends you or makes you uneasy, then you just have to toughen up and understand that every one of the, I hate to be like one of these like sort of sales cliche machines, but every one of those no's gets you closer to a yes. And that's really fundamentally true. Like I'm not a very salesy person. I'd rather just provide incredible amount of value to somebody and have them see like how uh, good of a, a partnership we would make if I'm working for them or working together with them to help them succeed. But, you know, again, you are going to get uh, people who are going to ignore you most commonly, and you're going to get a couple people every week who are going to say something that you don't like, something like, you know, go away, disappear, this is spam, any of those things. It's not spam if you're emailing or outreaching to businesses. So just accustom yourself to the fact that there are many assholes in the world and there are people who are having bad days and people who are just not nice and, you know, just keep smiling and just keep moving on and keep doing well for yourself, your family and your future. All right. So there are uh, 14 or 15, uh, you know, simple truths. Some of these are kind of duplicates. So I don't want to say it's 17, but there's probably 14 good recommendations here with respect to card. If you're interested in uh, joining our next uh, course cohort, you can click on the link, uh, which will take you here, which is our uh, course community, and it'll give you access to uh, me as well. And I can help you uh, build your brand and your business with pretty uh, much guaranteed success. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Thank you as always so much for watching. If you have questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.